So welcome to Frugal Finance everybody. Today I think we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a day in the life of me. So property entrepreneur, businessman, dad to three kids, whatever you want to call me. Um, hopefully nothing nasty. But basically we're going to do a day in the life of me and to show that it's not always roses and you do have to put the legwork in essentially. So without further ado, please subscribe smash the like button comment below if you like this style of video let me know it's the first sort of one i've done it's going to be a little bit more artistic -y in the camera work so uh, hopefully you enjoy that and um, be interested to see your feedback if you'd like more videos like this please do comment below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button so without further ado let's wake up So, once I've woken up, this is pretty much how the day starts. And before we begin, we have to do coffee. That's literally the first thing that happens every morning. Cup of coffee. I like this fresh percolated stuff here. Um, that doesn't cost very much to make and it tastes great. It makes me feel like I'm in a coffee shop vaguely. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's how we start there. So to begin with, um, about nine o'clock in the morning, after probably half hour or so, uh, having coffee and catching up on various things, news and things, we have a uh, staff teams call meeting. So I meet with the staff, generally speaking, on a, on a Monday um, via Teams whilst we're all working from home. And you'll see here, we're just uh, having our regular call. So I did that, that was uh, nine till about half past nine. And then I did a whole bunch of emails and various uh, bits of paperwork and so on. Some to do with uh, my main job to, to Charles Scott's property management and other bits to do with my own personal portfolio or some of the uh, holding companies that I've got that look after uh, various uh, buildings and things. Um, and then I had another team's call with, I, with my accounts department around about 11. Then I packed up everything and then I had to go off to do some repairs. So here I am, I uh, packed full the car full of stuff and headed off down to B&Q, um, which is essentially like a Costco or something if you're an American watcher, and picked up the bits that I needed, went up to the flat, uh, discovered one of the uh, plumbers had been a bit of a numpty and wired it, uh, <coughs> plumbed in the washing machine without cutting the end cap off for the waste, so that's why the wood washing machine wouldn't drain. And the other flat that was a couple of doors down, um, the pull cord in the bathroom had gone. So I uh, changed that and actually it took me uh, two minutes to change the thing and then absolutely ages to thread the stupid little cord through the thing. So that's how it goes. And uh, anybody that says that I don't do any of these work and I haven't got an understanding of what contractors have to go through, well, tough luck, uh, watch this. And you have my deepest sympathy when it's difficult and no sympathy when it's difficult, when it isn't difficult. I then back home after doing that, quick spot of lunch and then more emails and telephone calls and various sods and sods um, before a, another meeting at about six o'clock, um, which was an AGM for a building that we manage. Um, and uh, that lasted till seven. So just finished with that meeting. Um, that was reasonably successful. Everyone seemed to, uh, make decisions and so on and it's good to stay focused and we kept it to one hour and um, managed to get through all the agenda items so now i am just nipping quickly to sainsbury's so essentially um what it is is my daughter doesn't want to eat the curry that we're uh, ordering so um i'm having to just nip into uh, sainsbury's now and deal with that so this is me just doing my dad duties essentially and getting what i need to get uh, for her so she's happy uh, she won't eat the curry that we're ordering and we're having a curry just as a little treat as it's been a, quite a busy day so i'll see you when i've finished all of that and i'm back at my desk because that's unfortunately what happens after dinner here we are collecting the curry and then we're back home so, after eating that curry and sitting down and watching a bit of telly, here I am back at the computer again, doing more emails and editing yesterday's video and this video. 
um, and then I plan to do a little bit of research on some HMOs. Uh, I found a property which is uh, pretty much geared up for doing a HMO. It's something that I've always been interested in. So hopefully um, we can explore that a bit further. So that's pretty much uh, the day in the life of me. Um, it just really just to show that um, it's not all kind of you know easy riding and the rest of it and obviously some things you do have to uh, go out yourself um, you know it's been quite a long day it tends to be kind of about eight o'clock in the morning to at least 11 or 12 o'clock at night um, doing those repairs myself in the flats I know some people in the comments will say why do you bother with that just get a contractor in or whatever um, the reality is is I am skilled enough to do those repairs so that is the first factor as to why I do them um, I don't do all the repairs. It is obviously on a car, uh, kind of time cost analysis. You know, if I, my time's better spent somewhere else. The reality is today I had quite a calm day. I had a kind of full day of work of which I can catch up with some stuff in the evening. So um, I would anticipate, I probably save myself the best part of 150 quid by doing those two repairs. I would have had to have got a plumber. They would have charged probably 40, 50 quid plus VAT for just attending basically to cut a piece of pipe off the end. Um, and then the electrical one, I probably would have paid about probably 50 quid plus, I don't know, 10, 15 pound for the part and then VAT on top again. So I wouldn't have seen a lot of change out of 150 quid. And the reality is that's cost me, you know, few quid in fuel and 495 for the switch. Um, and that's it. Obviously, I've spent my time, but as I say, I can recover that in the evenings because I haven't had a particularly heavy day. That decision isn't automatic. I have to do that on a day by day basis. Um, so, yeah, and during all of that, I have uh, start reading, started to read up on some of this HMO stuff. I've been looking at various other leasehold matters. Uh, some commercial property um, bits in between and obviously trying to maintain the channel and reply to comments as well uh, and film all these cutaways and clips and things so yeah when you smash all that together it's quite a busy day but that is probably a pretty average day for me um, I it's not meant to kind of look at me I'm the martyr and I'm doing loads of work um, it's really just to say you need to be motivated and want to do this if you're going to achieve it and that's whether you want to do youtube or whether you want to you know run your own business or whether you're gonna do property or whatever it's not all plain sailing people that think they just buy a property and live in uh leave it and you get passive income and you don't have to do anything for it even if you've got a letting agent you still have to do stuff the letting agent's going to phone you and tell you that the boiler's broken and it's gone over the limit you agreed with them so you agree a 500 pound limit or something for expenditure you go crazy well the reality is is uh, the boiler's going to cost more than that and then you even if you don't care you still want to probably analyze the statements every month so they send you you collected a thousand pounds rent and they send you 52 quid you can't tell me you're not going to want to look at the statement and wonder why 948 quid of it has disappeared um and then if you find that they're spending your money um on uh, frivolous things like the tenant says the light bulbs are broken or something or the you know constantly the door doesn't shut properly you're gonna maybe query that so there's still work to do um but yeah i think, I think that's a anyway a, a, a different video for you today um different from the other ones just to give you a kind of bit of insight knowledge as to maybe some of the decision making processes that i do in order to juggle my day and to show you that um you know they are uh, tend to be quite long and you know you've got to put the hard work in um so if you like the video please do subscribe uh, like the channel comment below it really does help um with the algorithm and getting this out to a wider audience um and then you know really kind of getting the message and then it allows me to interact with people more i'm getting loads more comments than we were before in the uh, comment section below and um we're getting i don't know on average say um one or two subscribers a day so you know making good headway but if we can uh, grow the channel a bit more um that would be good and if you have like this style of video please do let me know or if you've got any kind of um you know uh, suggestions for other types of video that you'd like to see um i've got a list of ones that i want to do but if there's anything anybody wants me to do 
please do let me know. Um, and with that said, I shall see you next time. Good night.